Alright, good afternoon. In this video, we're going to do a file backup of the files on our teach pendant. So I have a LRMate 200 ID 4S in my classroom, and I want to make a file backup for this file so I can use this on either for backing up at a later date or on RoboGuide. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab a USB that is going to be dedicated for the robot. So I have this USB right here and I'm going to add it to our input which is on the side of our teach pendant. So just kind of show you there's the side of our teach pendant and I have the USB inside there. Again it can also go on to the USB on the front of the robot control as well. So what we're going to do now is once we have the USB in there and I have a clear and dedicated USB for this robot is we are then going to go to menu and we're going to go down to file some arrow down to file number seven and then we're going to arrow to number one which is file enter here's all our files so the first thing we need to do is make sure we are in the right directory right now we're in ut1 but if you're not in the correct directory just go f5 or for utility and then we're going to go down to the set device so here's our device. Now we're going to go down to USB on the teach pendant, T1, enter. Now if you have a USB that needs to be formatted, you can format for this. And then you also have a format FT32 that's meant for our larger size flash drives. You can also make a directory. So for my files, I'm actually going to make a directory. So I'm going to go down to make directory. And then I'm going to go to options keyboard, keyboard and then I'm going to add a name. So at this point, you can add a name to anything that you want. Usually you put it as a name or of the date as well as the robot. So I'm going to just go LR mate. And then I'm going to put the date as well. So now I have a folder called LR mate 65 2021. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to backup so if you don't see backup just arrow over to next so if you can see install instead just hit next here and then we're going to go backup and then we're going to go down to all the above so we're going to do a full file backup of everything that's on our device so we're going to go all the above enter and it's going to say delete anything that's inside that that teach item since it's brand new we don't have to worry about this we're going to hit yes and then it's going to start running through our files. And there we go. Now I have everything saved on our device and all my files are now saved on my USB. So I can now take this and use it at a later date, but I also can create this robot in RoboGuide by using these files.